Hello and welcome to Daily Prepare. Today we bring to you a video on prelim specific current affairs. In the world of geophysics, the Earth is not just a solid mass beneath our feet. It's a dynamic entity, constantly moving and responding to various forces. Today we dive into the intriguing realm where earthquakes, ionospheric disturbances, and reflection seismology converge. Earthquakes, even the seemingly small ones, we eld a far-reaching influence extending beyond the surface. A recent study unveils their impact on the ionosphere, specifically altering co-seismic ionospheric perturbations, CIP. But what triggers these perturbations? Intercoseismic vertical crustal movements induced by earthquakes, creating acoustic waves, AWs, in the atmosphere. These waves travel upward, reaching the ionosphere, where disturbances in electron numbers occur along the line of sights connecting ground, Global Navigation Satellite System, GNSS, receivers and satellites. Now let's see what ionosphere is. The ionosphere, a dynamic layer of Earth's atmosphere, extends from about 30 miles to 600 miles above the planet's surface. Composed of ionized particles, it plays a crucial role in radio communication and space weather. Solar radiation bombards the Earth, stripping electrons from atoms in the ionosphere, creating ions. This ionization process varies with sunlight, causing daily fluctuations. The ionosphere reflects and refracts radio waves, enabling long-distance communication. It also shields Earth from harmful solar radiation, impacting satellite operations and GPS accuracy. During solar storms, the ionosphere experiences disturbances, affecting communication and navigation systems. Now, let's again see what we started with. Past studies often envisioned earthquakes as singular, point sources, assuming a single acoustic pulse based on maximum vertical displacements. But reality, especially with large earthquakes involving ruptures across fault segments, challenges this simplistic view. In a groundbreaking move, scientists from the Indian Institute of Geomagnetism, IIG, delved into the near-field CIP of the February 2023 Turkey earthquakes, notably a devastating MW 7.8 event near the Turkey-Syria border, EQ1, and a subsequent MW 7.7 event to the north, EQ2. The findings revealed that ionospheric perturbations from smaller earthquakes could involve contributions from multiple sources along the fault. We need to understand this reflection from the ionosphere is not to be confused with reflection seismology. So, what exactly is reflection seismology? It's a method of exploration, geophysics, that uses seismic waves to peek into the Earth's subsurface. Picture this. Controlled seismic energy sources like dynamite or specialized air guns create waves that bounce off geological layers, revealing valuable information about what's down there. Now let's look at the applications of this method. First up, we've got near-surface investigations. Think engineering, environmental surveys, and digging into resources like coal and minerals, even reaching depths of 2 kilometers for geothermal energy. Next, hydrocarbon exploration, helping the oil and gas industry map the subsurface with high-res precision up to 10 kilometers deep. And reflection seismology is revolutionizing mineral exploration, especially in tough hard rock environments. Lastly, crustal studies for exploring Earth's structure, from the crust to the mysterious Moho discontinuity, down to a mind-blowing 100 kilometers. In the grand symphony of Earth's movements, from seismic waves to ionospheric perturbations, science continues to unravel the interconnected dynamics beneath our feet. If you found the video insightful, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more such insightful content. You can also download the PDF of this article from the link given in the description below. Stay informed and stay engaged in these critical issues.